We are here tonight with the world-renowned dynamic duo, Dr. Kara and Dr. Brian Criswell, talking about something very important that's near and dear to your hearts of viewers, and we are going to answer some of those emails. Welcome tonight. Thank you, Deborah. We're so excited to have you. We've had so many emails about a topic that I know you can give our viewers out there the answers to, and it's about the under eye bags, the dark circles. Um, something that our viewers say they just can't get rid of and they're having a difficult time finding a surgeon that will take away those pockets. So I want to talk to you tonight about the di different options, why, why surgeons don't want to perform that particular surgery and if there is a lot of um, risk to it. So I'm going to start with okay. you, Dr. Brian. Sure. Tell me a little bit about that surgical procedure. Um, the under eye area is a very sensitive, very delicate area. And so not all surgeons do deal with that part of the, of the face. Um, we do, it's something that many of our patients come to us about. And I think the first step before we'll consider surgery is dealing with the, the non-surgical procedures, the non-surgical options first, um, before we head straight into surgery. And a great way to deal with the skin underneath the eye is with lasers. Uh, there are a number of lasers out there, an erbium laser or fraxel lasers, but we use the erbium YAG laser, and it can be done in a 10-minute office procedure, minimal downtime, three or four days of using makeup, but really tightens the skin underneath the eyes, helps with bags, helps mm -hmm. with that crepey fine skin, helps with the dark circles, and is a remarkable change for the amount of time and, and effort, with minimal time and effort for the patient. So we'll often start there um, prior to even discussing surgery. Now, I think that's amazing because I really never thought lasers could take away the dark circles or the bags. I thought that was only a surgical procedure, but you're saying laser can help with that. Laser definitely helps. A lot of us are, have the bags underneath our eyes. It's genetic, but you right. can improve it. And a lot of the reasons we see that darkness is because there's loose skin, which casts shadows. And so a laser will tighten that skin and rejuvenate the skin so it's thicker skin, tighter skin, and that gets rid of some of the bags. It's, it's remarkable. Okay, we're gonna take a quick break. When we come back, we're gonna talk to Dr. Kara about another option. All of that when we come back. It's fashion. It's beauty. I personally believe that every single person can do something. It's celebrity. I and mean, you were starring in Whittaker Bay. Mm -hmm. Whittaker Bay, which was, of course, the North Carolina beach. It's trip. fun. Holy cow, so I'm on the Deborah Kennedy show. It oh doesn't get any good. It is cute. Join us here on Saturday nights at 9.30 on Access 21 for the Deborah Kennedy show. Beauty from the inside out and the outside in. Yeah! <laughs> As a mother, I understand the changes women's bodies go through in pregnancy. Having children changes women's lives in many ways, including some may, they may not have foreseen. The Mommy Makeover eliminates sagging breasts, a flabby stomach, and stubborn pockets of fat. The Mommy Makeover allows you to reclaim your pre-pregnancy body and look and feel great again. We complete the procedures in just one surgery. Expect the exceptional and regain your life. You deserve it. And now we're back with Dr. Kara and Dr. Brian Criswell. Kara, we're gonna open with you. Uh, we were talking about the under eye mm -hmm. area and Dr. Brian was talking about all the different lasers. Mm -hmm. Now, what is another option for the viewers out there? Well, obviously surgery is one of the most definitive ways of treating anything that people come into our office for. Um, it is good to hear that there are some surgeons that say, no, I don't feel comfortable dealing with the lower eyelid. Right. And the reason is there can be some complications associated with it if you don't go to someone who does a surgery frequently. There are different types of problems. If someone just has genetically thick fatty pads underneath their eyes and not a significant amount of excess skin, the fat pads can just be removed through an incision inside the eyelid. So there's actually no external scar. Now it's a very challenging surgery as far as anatomy goes if you're not comfortable with that anatomy. But as far as recovery goes, minimal minimal swelling, minimal bruising, and about a week you're ready to go and there's no external incisions. Okay. Now, if you have both the fat pad and extra skin, you will need to have an incision, but it is right along the lash line and can be easily camouflaged and after several weeks you're, that's unnoticeable as well. Now the problem is 
two things. Number one, we have a ligament in this area that if that's damaged can be affect your vision. And also, we have some, um, some support tissue in the corner of our eye that as we age, that becomes more and more lax. So if you don't adequately suspend the corner of the eye and take out the extra skin, you end up with kind of a drooping of the lower eyelid, which is a very challenging thing to fix. And it's a, very pro it's a big problem after surgery. So you have to be very, very meticulous in your patient selection in who you do the surgery on, and also your selection on your surgical technique. Right, I love that you're very confident because there are so many surgeons out there that really don't want to do it. And you, the first thing you said was, oh yeah, we do this all the time. So <laughs> it's your confidence level. I mean, you, you know what you're doing, you know the area, you know all these variables that you just spoke of. And so obviously you're confident that that's something that you can handle. Well, we like mm -hmm. doing the surgery right. because rejuvenation of the eye is just the most wonderful way to start with facial rejuvenation. That's the first thing you look at. It's the first thing you see. And, if, and is minimal scarring associated with it. So right. it's a great surgery to start with for mm -hmm. facial rejuvenation. And I think too, you've put people at ease because with the vision, mm -hmm. you know, people, when they're afraid that they perhaps might lose their vision, that's mm -hmm. a big thing. Absolutely. You know, how if you have these amazing look now with no yeah. dark circles under the eye, but you can't see it, what <laughs> good is it, right? So um, I love you guys so much for coming to the set always and spending your evening with us. And thank you for sharing all your knowledge, especially with a you know, just such a sensitive subject like this, the under eye area, um, with you with the surgical part and you with the laser part, and it's just that dynamic that works together. You know, right. we love it. And that, um, that you know, you guys uh, just have a dynamic here in Charlotte as well with all your community service that you do and just, you know, touching so many people. We are so lucky to have you on our set and in the city of Charlotte. Thank you. Thank Deborah. you so, so much. Thank you thank for you. all you do. We hope you've enjoyed this segment with Dr. Kara and Dr. Brian Criswell, making Charlotte more beautiful one look at a time.